people because there are ministers here, you know. I, uh, sometimes I will come there and they say, you didn't mention my name. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, really, let me just, those that I did not mention means that, it doesn't mean that I don't recognize you. Uh, we are so many and the time is going. Let me thank and uh, recognize the presence of Cambridge here. Uh, Cambridge here, we have gone through together for many, many years. He's one of the diplomats that, di diplomats that I really I remember when we were in Brussels, when he was taking over from Cambridge Hagegein Corps, he was refusing to be a diplomat. Uh, he said, no, I Cambridge said, 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 you go and uh, present us at the UN. So he had no, he was in a situation of no war, no peace. He has to go. <laughs> <laughs> And he represented us very well. When I go to New York, I used to stay in his house, go to the UN. Yeah, those days were very difficult. But there he is, he brought us. He let us, he let the world know about this country. Another, another person that I have to mention is Governor Nasa. You don't know this man. Education that we are having today is because of this man. While we were in the struggle, he used to say, education for all. Uh, Namibians didn't know English. They say, education for all. <laughs> History forever. <laughs> I, I, re I remember one day, he was he, he, during a certain rebellion which was in Suapode, we went to an old farm which was being run by him. Uh, they, the knives were out against him, trying to tarnish his name and what not that he is. Uh, mistreating the children or what not, and so on, so lies. The, the man who was leading this Alabalu was the late Chipanga. He stood up, he was young by that time. No beards. <laughs> he stood up and just went straight and neutralizing. I saw Chipanga smoking confusingly, secret by secret. <laughs> <laughs> so he has really touched his nerves and he came out victorious protecting the children of this world, uh, of, of, of Swapo. And all the schools that you know of have been created by this man. So we know each other. We went through thick and thin. Utroni Nuyoma, you are seeing a man sitting there. You don't know that he is a military man. <laughs> <laughs> He is one of the people who fought for this country. I remember in uh, Lusaka, uh, in, 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 um, in, in Rwanda, the old man, the father, saying that my children must be the first to fight. I cannot send other people's children to the war while mine are not fighting. <laughs> he must start with him. <laughs> and he was there in the army. 
until he did what he did and came back and joined the diplomatic struggle. Another person that I will have to mention is Comrade Helmut Aguilar. Kakjela, Ichiwo. <laughs> so that is a man that we have been together at school, at the, at the universities, but he was in a different university, I was in a different university. We stayed together, he was my deputy uh, during the struggle of this, the, 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 the students there. And we worked together hand in hand. So I have got a terrible trust in him. He has never let me down, and I don't think that he would do that at this age. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, and he's a doer. Kadinambo Kadinambo is my relatives. He's my relative also. He, we are from the uh, royal family. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> 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 I will tell you <laughs> So he is a fighter. That man, you are seeing him like that. He was one of the soldiers that brought about this independence. You are seeing him there in the ministry. You don't know how much guns he was using during the... He is one of the best plane fighters that you can think of. And he was, actually when he started talking about mobilizing the people, he never stopped. He talked and he mobilized so many people, telling them the truth about the struggle. The brain is very clear and fixed to the struggle. I know him. Tommy Nambahu is a colleague of mine. We are having the same background of studies in uh, socialist countries. Uh, some of us are very <coughs> radical, don't think. We are just trying to be pretend not to be radical. But we are. So our background is that way. So. Uh, and uh, up to now, we are together in the disciplinary committee of Swapo. Uh, all those who want to be disciplined, so we are here. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he's a very down to earth person. And so it goes. Then the last one that I can mention is Comrade Ita. I told her to come here for one reason. She is having the education of this country in her hands. Our children are being exposed to unnecessary lies about the struggle. <coughs> The history of this country is being written by people who themselves are the ones who have colonized us. Or they were in one way or the other you actually associated with the colonizers. And they write it from their point of view. And this confuses our children. And uh, many, us, many of us, we are living on the borrowed time. We are about to go. So we have to write the history so that our, the minds of our children are not confused. That they know where they come from. You will never go forward if you don't know where you are coming from. And uh, since she is responsible for our education, she must, I thought she must be here so she can at least see what we are trying to do to bring the true history in the, in the heads of our children. 
that will be also beneficial to the children 